Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to have some fun by doing a Shop My Stash. It's been a few months since my last one, so we're due for this. So before I start picking out products, I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get started. Diving into the first drawer, I wanna use like a glow booster today, and I haven't used my Auric Glow Lust in a minute, so I'm going to use my Auric Glow Lust in the shade Selenite. For my foundation, I haven't used this one in a very long time. The Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. And for concealer, I am eyeing the Ilia one. For setting powders, let's do a combination. I wanna use my Charlotte Tilbury, and it's been a long time since I reached for my Pat McGrath under eye powder, so today's the day. I already grabbed my eye primer and my eyebrow stuff, so now let's get into bronzer, highlight, and blush. Lani, wanna help me pick, pick it out? No? Okay. Guys, I've tried to do another Cats Choose My Makeup. They are too old for it now. They don't care. <laughs> I'll try again though. <laughs> but for my blush, I'm kind of eyeing up the Glossier Cloud Paint or one of these because I haven't reached for these either. Um, maybe let's go for Pearl Tea from M Cosmetics. I haven't been reaching for this color type nor this formula. For highlighter, I'm gonna skip it because I already have the Auric Glow Lust and that super glowy foundation. I think it's going to be overkill. And for my bronzer, ooh, let's do this. Let's do a classic combo I haven't used in so long. Glowish with the Fenty Cream in Amber. Actually, instead of this formula, I'm gonna go for the Matchsticks version. I have an eye look in mind, so I'm going to grab products for that. So I'm going to need my Danessa Myricks exposed color fix and now i'm trying to find an eyeliner i like to smudge i'm looking for a black though this would be ideal in black where is it though there it is maybelline tattoo studio smoky eyeliner in black i might want a little bit of shimmer and i knew my day was going to include this um, so these are the two that I use all the time. I think this is the only shade I haven't used yet out of my NYX Ultimate Glow Shots. It's the shade Grapefruit Glow. And then I'm looking for a mascara. I'm just gonna grab my eyelash curler while I'm here. I feel like I need a lot of lash, so I might do my Lancome lash primer as well as my Lancome mascara. I think this is gonna be it. Now for an eyeshadow palette, since I wanna do like a cooler toned look, I haven't used this yet from Kleidos. And now for lips, I have a few in mind. First being the NARS Tinted Lip Balm in the shade Unrestricted, or Baby from Merit. And I was also thinking Treblase from MAC would be really nice or sultry moves. One of these is going to work. Starting off with the Auric Glow Lust. Again, I'm using the shade Selenite. I was tempted to put this all over my face, but I'm going to be using a very glowy foundation and I don't feel like being a beacon of light today. So I'm just going to apply this to my high points. I'm going to do a generous amount though. Just taking some on my fingertips and I'm warming up the product. And I'm just going to go all over my cheekbones. Whoa, that's okay. I guess we're gonna be doing my whole face anyways. That's okay, just the tops. And I love when the light hits my brow right here, like right here. I think that looks so pretty, so I put a little extra right there. I'm going to try putting some right in my inner corners. I don't think I ever did an underglow situation for my inner corners, might be fun. Okay, and for my foundation, I chose the Danessa Myricks. Oh, my mama's calling. Hello. She called me to go look at the sunset. That is so cute. She knows I'm such a sunset person. Did I mention the foundation I'm using? I don't know. I'm using the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Foundation in the shade 6N. And I'm only using a tiny amount of this. A little bit of this goes a long way. If you use too much, it's like craziness. So start with the smallest amount that you can. Um, this might even be way too much probably is so I'm going in with as little as possible and I'm using my BK Beauty 101 brush and they actually gave me a discount code they saw that I was using their brushes it's Julia Adams 10 I'll put it up on screen and because my eyes are going to be quite dark 
I'm going to try to use as little of foundation as I can because I like the contrast between a heavy eye and a more natural glowy base. I think it's very flattering and it just balances it out. That's my plan for my skin. Just going to go over everything with a damp beauty blender just to remove any excess. Did not know I had a bruise there, but I just ripped out all of my main floor flooring with my stepdad the other day. So I'm assuming that's where that's from. It's kind of in a heart shape. Cute. Now for my concealer, I picked the True Skin Serum Concealer. I guess I was in a serum mood. And I have the shade SC1 Chicory. Let's see this one. Just really wanted that darkness corrected right there from that past zit. I'm just going to tap it out with my brush. This concealer used to be so nice, but I feel like I've discovered so much better. I feel like this one makes my under eyes look a bit grainy for some reason. Not in a separated way, but like a texture enhancing way because it's so glowy. It's not very smoothing, which I look for a lot in my base products these days. Now I'm grabbing my Pat McGrath Blurring Under Eye Powder, and I use the shade Light, which is the white one, and I'm just going to use it with my sponge just to set my under eyes here, and I'm taking kind of an opaque amount to bake and to try to take down that texture from that concealer. I'm now just going to sweep that away with this Rare Beauty highlighting brush. That helped eradicate all that texture, but I, I see this is what happens when you accidentally have like a harsh line with your powder. You can see there's this harsh line. Yeah, so that concealer no longer compares to my favorites. And if you want to know what my favorites are in any category, I have a link in my description. It's listed as all my top recommendations, and that will lead you to a place that has a breakdown of my favorites in each category, including like my favorite fragrances, hair care, skin care, all of it. Everything that I love is on that page. Now let's move on to bronzer and contour. I chose these two. So I'm first going to contour with the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in the shade Amber. And I'm just going to put this in the hollows of my cheeks and why not put a little bit on my jaw, just the tiniest amount. This stuff goes a long way, so that will be good. I haven't tried this brush yet. I was going to use my old favorite, but let's try a new one. This is the BK Beauty 107. And although I place my contour right in my hollow, I don't blend it down. I only blend it upwards in circular motions just to get an, a lifted effect right from that hollow. And then it kind of wraps around your cheekbone and it looks very flattering. And then I'm going to layer the Glowish by Huda Beauty bronzer in the shade 02 Medium. I haven't used this in so long. Hey, there's kind of a heart in my powder here. Wow, I'm spotting all the hearts. Um, and I'm going to use the same brush, the BK Beauty 107. I'm having subtle regrets on not picking a highlighter. I feel like I could use a little boost here, although I'm looking pretty glowy on camera. I just want a boost. So I grabbed my Auric Glow Lust again and I'm taking it on my sponge. And I'm just going to put that on my high points. I think this is the only area I wanted a bump in glow. Now it's time for blush, and I picked the M Cosmetics So Soft Blush in the shade Pearl Tea, which now that I'm seeing it in good light, it might be a bit brown for the other things I picked. So I'm going to do a little mixture of pearl tea and the shade Baby. Just a 50-50 amount of that. See, that's what I had in mind. It's like pretty much the same, but just a little bit different. <laughs> and I'm going to use this e.l.f. Complexion Duo brush to apply. Hey, this is so fun. <coughs> the 
This is such a different formula than what you would expect from a blush stick. Um, they're so moussey and whipped in texture. They don't feel waxy in the slightest. Um, and they have more of like a matte powdery feel instead of like that dewy balmy look. I feel like I almost made up a different product in my head. I forgot that it was this kind of whipped matte texture. It almost feels like a more pigmented, more whipped version of the air matte blushes from NARS. Yeah, I'm happy I reached for that today. I feel like I'm going to reach for them more often now. So now let's take some of my powder. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish and I'm using the shade One Fair. And I'm going to apply that with my Rare Beauty powder brush. I love using blurring powders like this. I find it so satisfying to see it cut the shine. Although I love the shine, I know it will be back in a few hours <laughs> once my skin sets in. So now it's that time of the video, so please enjoy the brow intermission. Here's the eye look we're going to be doing. So let's get to it. Starting off, I'm taking my Danessa Myricks Exposed Color Fix. I'm taking a little bit on this palette and this is going to be our base color. So we're going to be sketching out the look. And when you're doing a smoky liner, it's really important to kind of go from the insides out. So you're going to create the shadow and then build the darkness on top. Then it's really easy to get that smoky effect. And I'm taking the angle of my lower lash line outwards. I'm following that angle a little bit more out than you'd usually go. And I'm going to take it from the outer point down to my upper lash line. Gently go back and forth over the edges of that and I'm taking this all the way across my lash line. And I'm also taking this into the inner corner, kind of like a halo eye. And now I'm taking a fluffy brush. This is a Smith 232 with that same exposed shade. I'm just making sure I have a diffused amount of that. And then I'm going to buff that into my crease, just like a little rainbow. So this is the base of the look. Now we're just going to be increasing depth and dimension everywhere. Now I'm picking up my smoky black liner and I'm going to start right here on the outer corner, drawing a mini, mini version of what we did with the shade exposed. I'm just going to start off with this. Start with minimal product and build as you go so you don't overwhelm yourself. And I'm taking that same smudgy brush and now I'm going to blend back and forth and outwards. And you kind of want to do like a sketching motion, kind of like a controlled chaotic movement. Now I'm doing the same thing to increase the opacity. And I'm also doing that in the inner corner. I'm just taking whatever's left on my brush to begin because I don't want it to be so, so opaque in the inner corner. And then I'm taking that pencil and I'm putting it into my waterline, making sure to smudge the edge of that so it kind of gets in between my lashes. And because I forgot to grab this while I was doing the shot my stash portion, I want to use my Huda Beauty Life Liner in the shade Very Vanta. And this is very dried out, but it kind of worked out. It made it look kind of smoky. But this formula lasts such a long time in the inner corner. It's so dried out, you guys. It's not even funny, but it worked. Now I'm taking my little eyeshadow palette and I'm first going to grab the black and grab the smallest amount. This one is so powerful. That's why it kind of got super dark over here. I wasn't aiming for it to be this dark, but that's just what the universe wanted today. So that's what it's gonna get. So I'm taking this black liner and I'm starting where I want the most concentration of that. And then I'm going to spread it outwards doing the same little controlled chaotic movement. And this is just going to help diffuse it and make it look really matte and smooth. 
Like it doesn't look the smoothest on my lower lash line right now, but this is just going to fill in the gaps, cut the shine of the liners and make it look really dark. With that same brush, I'm just wiping it off really good. I'm taking the lightest gray and I'm going to put that right in the inner corner right here just to soften it. And I also put a layer of that on my lid right here, kind of like so, tapping it. And then I went over with the black and it helped to make it look more smoky because I didn't want this to be very thick in the middle of my eye. And because this went lower than I wanted, I'm taking a brush like this. This is a ColourPop E25 with my Charlotte Tilbury powder. And I'm just going to graze the edge of that, wiping my brush often just to kind of calm it down. Lastly, I'm taking my NYX Ultimate Glow Shot in the shade Grapefruit Glow, taking some on my palette with this ColourPop E4 brush, which looks like this. And then I'm going to apply that in the center. And this is going to help brighten up the center of the, the look and kind of clean up that area too by masking it with this really pretty shine. And I also took some of that in my eye nook with this little pencil brush. This was a Sigma E30. Oh no, it kind of took off my <laughs> concealer. Ew, that looks really bad. Oh no. Oh, weird, it made a circle. <laughs> what happened? Funny. Okay, well, I'm gonna try to fix that. Let's see if I can. I'm going to take a powder highlighter that's close to that color. This is the Rare Beauty Mesmerize Highlighter. I don't know. Kind of fundled the bag on that one right there. Maybe don't do that. Now I'm taking my eyelash primer. Just on the top lashes. And then I'm taking my Lancome Lashita Mascara. And here are the eyes all finished. I feel super, super intense. <laughs> There's a reason why I always do this with brown. I feel like this just makes my eyes look like that Miley Cyrus photo. Holy irises, that's all I see. But now let's move on to lips. I think I'm going to line them up with this Smashbox Be Legendary Line and Prime pencil in the shade Medium Neutral Rose. I think it's going to be a good color with this blush. I'm going to swatch all of the lipsticks I grabbed. So here's the lineup. Over here, we've got Unrestricted from NARS. Then we have Très Blasé from MAC. Moving on to Baby, and then the last one is Sultry Moves from MAC. I feel like Baby is the winner. Mm, to Movi. Let's see Unrestricted. No, I don't think so either. I think it's going to be Très Blasé. They all look kind of similar, but there's a huge difference to me. I don't think I like this lip at all either. I think it needs to be more chill. So I'm gonna restart entirely. So instead I'm going to line with Oak from MAC. And instead I'm going to be using my Plush Ritual from Auric in the shade Bear. Honestly, I've just been in a phase that I hate every lip liner besides Wherever Walnut or Pinky Brown from Huda Beauty. I just threw on Wherever Walnut. <laughs> I just adjusted the camera angle so you could see Ren. He looks so cute in his chair. That's his little throne. He looks so good in it. Look at him, the little prince. <laughs> But here is the finished makeup look. What do you guys think? I wasn't so sure there for a second, but now that I let my hair down and I changed the lip, 
I feel much more happy. I feel very punk rock in this look now. But I really hope you enjoyed today's video and maybe learned something new. If you did, make sure to give this video a like. I will also link everything I used in today's video in the description down below. So feel free to check that out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.